connect the servo to the servo tester and before you power the servo tester up uh, make sure to uh, remove the servo arm okay I have just removed the servo arm from the servo now I can power it up and my servo is completely centered once again I will test and make it all the way center. So when I press the neutral button, my servo is all the way centered. Now I can put the servo arm back on the servo gear. To put the arm perfectly perpendicular, okay, perfectly vertical onto the servo gear, you might want to remove the uh, links from it and then with a little bit of forcing it should fit simply right okay so I have installed the second connector as well now you can see my arms will tilt together with the servo now let's center the servo okay this is the most critical part center the servo and set your quad in servo will be buzzing at this moment but you don't have to worry about that it's just a little bit of job and we can do it quickly all right now that everything is set servo is centered all you need to do is make sure uh, this one is equal distance 1 cm here more than one, one cm here basically I'm going more than one cm on each arm uh, the distance from motor mount to the motor lock more than one cm so basically I'm just taking the distance according to the assembly stand so all I need to do now is to push the quad down so that the motor mounts will perfectly level themselves okay and using a hex head screwdriver I'm gonna just uh, tighten them your servo might buzz during this time but uh, don't worry just do it quickly tighten all the screws making sure you are pushing them down So using the assembly stand, you can easily and quickly level out all the motor mounts. Otherwise, you can do it one by one as well. It, it's not a big deal. You can do it one by one as well. But using assembly stand, all you need to do is make sure the distance is right, push it down, and tighten the screws, and everything perfectly levels out. So this is a very important step. You need to make sure all these four motor mounts are perfectly horizontally leveled to the frame once it's done we will move on to the next step so now if you check your tilting is working now we are ready for the next step okay so the assembly of OFM Suk TRT 260 was simply piece of cake it's finished and uh, our quad is perfectly working I mean so far everything is right tilting working and everything installed right so I'm going to disconnect the power from everything, okay, and now you can go ahead and install that little screw for the servo arm, and right there inside you can install the screw onto the servo arm. Still there might be a possibility that when you connect the servo to your receiver and, flight, and configure your flight controller, um, your servo might be out of center, but that is easy at the hardware level you can simply move remove the servo arm 
and then reinstall it on the servo making sure it's perpendicular. But now what we're gonna do is we are ready to install the electronics on it. So we're gonna install the motors, ESCs, uh, power distribution board, where is it? And then we're going to solder the ESCs to power distribution board, solder a connector to it and kind of connectors that we're going to use with the, uh, to power our FPV system. So that all depends how you're going to need the power from power distribution board, solder all the connectors, solder all the ESCs, and then we'll take it from there, the next steps, how to install the flight controller, uh, how to install the receiver, UBC, how to program the flight controller, and how to program your radio. So let's go ahead and uh, next step, I'm going to solder all the ESCs to the power distribution board right here and then we'll take it from there. Next step to install the motors on it and because we don't need to do any kind of soldering so bring out your OFM screamer motors, crazy ones. Now basically this step is so easy that I shouldn't be actually showing it, however I need to show it because you have got two different types of motor propeller adopters inside. These inside the bags are longer ones, okay, inside the bag these ones, these are longer ones and outside the bag these are shorter ones. I will recommend you use shorter ones, you look at the motor box. Okay, one says clockwise and one says counterclockwise. Because motors, you can configure them to spin anyway, it does not matter. However, the motor propeller adopters are specially sleeved, threaded for clockwise and anti clockwise uh, propellers. Okay, so uh, this is your clockwise and here is your counterclockwise. Do not mix them up. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the clockwise and anti clockwise uh, motor adopter, propeller adopters inside, we'll leave them inside the box, I will leave them inside the box CCW and CW, okay, and I will go ahead and install the motors on each motor mount.